Well, I, I guess during callbacks, Scott said to everyone being called back, if any of you are opposed to being flown or, you know, if you're afraid of heights, then this is the time to tell me. So I knew then that he was seriously thinking about flying Charlotte. I started trying to think, how do you actually put a spider in a web in a theatrical way where those web, where those words can be spelled out in a large and relatively spectacular way? Um, which kept leading me back to, well, then Charlotte has to fly. The very first time they put me in the harness, um, the guy from ZFX was wonderful because he showed me the harness he told me how it was made. ZFX special effects company, they're actually out of Louisville. They, they certainly, obviously, they did our little play, but they did our little play right after flying for the Winter Olympics. And then he just quickly put me in it, and the first thing they did was take me up as far as they could. <laughs> if we're flying you, one, do you have any fears of that? And she said, absolutely not. Quite honestly, there's there's only a few moments when I've been afraid, and they are the moments when I am up as high as they take me, you know, out of view, way, way up there, and I have to hang there for a long period of time. Because if you let yourself think about how high you really are, you can kind of psych yourself out. There's a lot of science to this. There's a lot of engineering to it. But it's also, in many respects, still a primitive machine. Um, there are things that are controlled by, you know, where's the breeze blowing from? Do you overshoot this a little bit? There, there's a great amount of trust going on. And um, I remember one day in rehearsal, we were, we were flying on stage, we were rehearsing, and Mitch and Mike brought me down, but we were, they were still, we were still learning how to coordinate coming down on that rather small space. And so I wasn't quite there and I was still moving around the edges. Don't break. Jamie. Mitch and Mike were going to let me fall, and I, I trust them so much. We are a three-person team, very much so, and, and, uh, I, and I, always, I always feel them with me. I really do. Through every single time, it's amazing. And, uh, and when they, they haul me up there and I'm hanging for a while, and they look up at me and they give me the, you know, is everything okay? And I hold up one of my, and I give them, you know, a, the rehearsal of that is grueling. The performance of it is grueling. When she has three show days, man, she's, she's going through a lot to do it. The harness for the first two days hurt. Oh, it hurt. <laughs> it really, really hurt. We were pretty much expecting Mitch to be walking around like Quasimodo the next day, but he was okay, but uh, uh, I think he was kind of worried that was going to be happening too. <laughs> I have foam that's about this thick in squares on my hip bones under the harness still. because. But the rest of it, it's amazing how fast your body gets used to it. You really got to have that spirit of this is something I want, something I'm excited to do, to put up with the inconvenience of it because it's inconvenient. I had to connect to all the actors. I had to connect to Wilbur. I had to learn my lines cold immediately I had to do all the inner work because once the flying came I wanted to be able to concentrate on that and then piece the two together. The rehearsal schedule had to shift to something completely unlike what we normally do to be able to bring the flight stuff in at the appropriate time which also meant there were entire sequences um, that were going on that I it's almost like you've got two shows going on and I'm blocking everything except for Charlotte. So even, it was a little frustrating. I wanted to get on top of the things, you know, earlier than I could. But I, I just try, really tried to pretend and, uh, and be in her body even though I was on the floor <laughs> instead of on top of the hay bale. Then two days um, directing and working with Charlotte and then real quick put them together and see if you were doing the same show all along, which most of it was. There were a few little adjustments, but then um, you know, you have Patricia, who's doing this marvelous eight-armed costume, um, and then here comes the fly guys and the harness, and it doesn't work quite like we had thought. And sometimes, you're, you know, you can be a little irritated that, well, this is not going to, we can't do this the way I like to do it, but at the same time, you get this different structure and this different process, and if you embrace it, there are kind of new things and new rhythms that come out of it. It was really a cool experience, I think, for everybody. Charlotte's job is to be there for Wilbur, you know. So even though I'm very aware of what I'm having to do with my body, like even when I'm not flying, when I'm perched on the crate, you know, in the spider body, 
I still have to be just as focused um, on Wilbur. Look, look at the different levels of artistry that are involved in it. First, I mean, you've got the flying. Then look with that with the lighting design and the way Scott Leather's lighting design is coordinating with that. Um, uh, Erica's scenic design with the huge web. And then Jamie's performance, which is, I mean, she's got to act, um, which she's doing in those moments. A, a little aerial gymnast. Look at that costume, a bit of puppeteer. All those things have to work smoothly and in tandem. And then on top of that, take Paul Carroll Binkley's music that he wrote for those sequences. And all you can do is sit back and go, here is enormously moving theatrical beauty. I think it's very special. I think it's very um, emotional. I think that we, if we could all say, you shall not die to someone that we love. You know, it hits, it's, it just sinks in your heart. The book does. I mean, that's why it's been around and everyone loves it so much. And I think that Scott has really honored the book and how beautiful it is. So I'm very, I'm proud, I'm very blessed. And I'm very, I feel very fortunate to be a part of it and to be this Charlotte. It's um, something I'll cherish my whole life.